All right, well, our crews are on the roads this morning and in the streets, and they are tracking the very latest conditions. And we have got team coverage for you from D.C. to Maryland and Virginia. We want to get started with our coverage this morning in Fredericksburg, and that's where our Jeff Goldberg is live for us this morning. Jeff, how are things looking there? Things are looking all right, Audrey and Jimmy. Good morning. You know, Jackie was just talking about that light snow. That's exactly what we've seen. Not really the snowball-making type. It really is light. It's been falling consistently throughout the night. This is what we've been seeing all throughout these parking lots. This right now looks to be a uh, plow truck getting a bit of a jump here. But we've seen these plow trucks, these tow trucks, all over parking lots, clearing them out. Also, VDOT, of course, out on the freeways. Take a look at this video from last night. This was uh, in the evening, about 9, 10 o'clock, on 95 in Fredericksburg. You had cars literally literally stopped. It was basically a parking lot on 95. That is certainly not a site you see very often. People actually had time to get out and clear out their cars, rather clean off their cars. It was that kind of a night, just traffic not really moving. Uh, at the moment, uh, 95 looks pretty barren. Not too many cars are out there at the moment. Now, coming back here live, this is Route 3 in Fredericksburg. Looks pretty quiet right now. We have seen some VDOT trucks come through. They have about 900 trucks out in the Stafford, Fredericksburg area. Nearly 4,000 pieces of equipment up in the northern Virginia area. Fairfax, Loudoun, Arlington, Alexandria, that part of the state. But again, the traffic not too much at the moment. Things moving sm smoothly, slowly, steadily. Drivers certainly being cautious, and we like to see that. We're going to be here all morning, tell you how things are going out in Fredericksburg. Back to you in the studio. Okay, Jeff, thank you for that. Stay safe out there. Well, this storm hit southern Maryland harder than other spots. And our Maryland Bureau Chief, Brad Bell, is live in St. Mary's County this morning with what conditions are like right now. Brad, we see you got the shovel out there, certainly <laughs> a few inches on the ground. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a sneak peek of what everybody's going to be dealing with in this region when they get up this morning. They're going to have to shovel their way to their cars, but you know what? It is easy. Look at that. That is easy shoveling snow, nice and powder. So I drove over here last night. We were in La Plata covering a snowstorm yesterday, 4 or 5, the evening news, and then drove over here, parked at about 8 o'clock last night, and um, there was only about an inch or so of snow on the ground. So this is what's accumulated on the car since then. Look at that. That's a pretty healthy, pretty healthy coating on the car, five inches or so. Now, if we go to a place where the snow hasn't been touched, we can come over here with my handy-dandy yardstick, show you that we have just about, there it is. That's eight inches right there. It's falling pretty quickly right now, eight inches of snow on this yardstick. Um, when I first came out and poked it in here a little while ago, it was only... Um, about six and a half inches. So it's coming down pretty heavily right now. Um, you know, the people have had an opportunity to try to keep up. You can see this mound of snow over here at this hotel where we're staying. They've been plowing and pushing it all night long. Like I say, it's an easy, easy snow to deal with. It's so fluffy. It's so light. Now, beyond me over there is, uh, is Three Notch Road, the main road through this area. On the other side is the Patuxent Naval Air Station. Um, we've seen just a little while ago a piece of equipment moving up and down the road there. Uh, you know, it's not like they've got this much snow on the made roadways. They've been pushing it and plowing it all night long, so it's really just compacted. If we go over here, you can see what it is. It is a snow-covered road. That's the reason a lot of people are going to have a snow day today. It's going to be really tough, well, sledding um, this morning. If you drive a little too fast, that's what your car is going to turn into is a sled. But uh, it is beautiful. I will say that. It is cold, so every little bit of snow that's fallen, you know, is sticking. When it falls on you, it just brushes brushes right off. It's a very pretty snow. And it looks like we're going to get exactly what Jackie forecast for this area. Still falling heavily now. As we showed you, we're already up to about 8 inches. So we're in that 8 to 10 inch range. It'll be interesting to see just exactly how much more we do get. But, you know, the folks down here said they haven't had one for a while, and uh, now they're getting a legitimate snow. Jimmy, back to you. See you in a oh, little bit. Okay, Brad, thank you. Well, the snow is impacting public transportation this morning, and Melanie Hastings is at the live desk where you're getting a lot of releases in from the rail lines in the area, right? That's absolutely right, Jimmy. You know, the snowy weather is causing some big changes for both bus and rail riders today. First, start with Amtrak. Amtrak, they say, is up and running this morning. There could be some changes in the frequencies of the trains, and Amtrak recommends that you call before you go. Metro Rail is operating both above and below ground right now, and we just got word from our Brienne Carter that Metro buses have now been suspended until further notice. VRE also has canceled their service today due to the winter 
winter storm. Mark train riders, the Camden and the Brunswick lines are not running, but the Penn Line S schedule, that one they say is in service, and there's no Mark buses except for Route 201, that's the Gaithersburg BWI airport bus, and that one is on schedule. Fairfax connector buses, they are operating on a Saturday service today with additional shuttles. And that is the situation that we hear right now with our transit system throughout the area. Of course, things could change with this winter weather we're getting, and uh, we will have the latest updates for you as they come into the newsroom. Jumi and Autria, back to you.